Thank you. Look at those boots. Yes. I know. God, it's so weird. I almost wore those. It Did would have you? been really embarrassing because one of us would have had to go home. Sorry? Yeah, you're good. All right. Well, I mean, Chris, we need to talk about the cable knit sweater the that the internet is obsessed sweater. with. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen it? What do you think? Uh, yeah, I've seen the reaction. I kept all the clothes. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, I, I can't take credit. We had great wardrobe people, but I think everybody looks good in cable knit sweaters, you know? True, true. I thought you were going to say everybody looks good in the movie, and I'm like... Uh, no, yeah, like, um, just the sweaters. <laughs> well, everyone's also yeah. talking about your standout performance. <laughs> <laughs> well, Anna, let's get Poor to your performance. Like, Anna. everyone is talking about it and how great it is. And I know you've been talking about how Latin women have been misrepresented in film. What do you think this film gets right? Uh, the other side of the coin, <laughs> you know, we're not always... Uh, this movie wouldn't have been the same if Marta was a sexy nurse, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it would have yeah. been like a whole complete, you know, different story. Uh, like and and we're pants. not... <laughs> what? Capri pants. <laughs> Little socks, little shoes. <laughs> High heels. Yeah, yeah. They, they, La Perla. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, so I mean, but seriously, um, we're not always uh, thieves or the help or um, prostitutes or someone um, who's, you know, actually behaving the way the family behaves. Yeah. We're like culture people with roots. We care about family. We care about our, um, you know, What's right? Uh, or, yeah, what's right, and and it was so amazing to see this in, in in the movie and to see it succeed and actually be rewarded for it. Yeah, and I love that it also has you know a modern twist. Who done it's are usually '30s classics, and you know you got cell phone usage, and it made me think a little bit about social media and celebrities and branding. Um, how has social media um, helped you guys you know hone your brand and basically empower you to control your image? Brand. I'm still learning about that. <laughs> like, uh, I still feel like it's a full-time job, and mm -hmm. I don't know if I have uh, uh, the time or the the, the, the patience or the mm -hmm. taste for it. I, I don't know. Um, I'll do my best, but I don't know if I yeah. could at it. I mean, you're quite active, though. Yeah. Yeah, but it has nothing to do with my brand. I think brand is a really silly word. Or um, just, yeah. how about empower you as, like, an individual? Just as a... Sure, you know, it's it's not even meant to, well, it's certainly not meant to empower me. It's, you know, there, there's this weird dichotomy of being in the job we, we're in because, you know, when you speak up, everyone says, you're an actor, shut up. And then if you don't say something, they're like, you're an actor, you should be using your voice. And it's like, well, where, where, where's the common ground? So it, it's hard to find the balance in terms of when and where and on what you choose to speak out on. And I think we're living yeah. in really tricky times. And yeah. We, we're all very privileged on this mm -hmm. side of the, you know, the, the side of the aisle and, and you know sometimes some things matter too much um, but you also don't want to do it so much that you become white noise and you don't want to be sanctimonious and it's a weird needle to thread but but there have just been too many times where I've seen things that I just when you start debating whether or not to speak up if the only thing preventing you is some sort of concern of the downstream impact on your own career, that's never the reason to not do it. So you end up doing it if you, you take the heat, if you got to take the heat. But I think we can all agree we're living in a time where the people who don't have a voice deserve some help.